a tree falls in a forest, what sound does it make? I am Groot. And you're watching Balloon Animal Lessons number 73. Hello, Balloon World. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. And this week, I have a really special design for you. A dancing baby Groot. Isn't this cool? With the movie being really popular, I got lots of requests for baby Groots. So I had to come up with a design. This is what I came up with. It only uses four balloons. And one of those balloons is just a little bit of a scrap for the eyes. It's really simple. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need four balloons. I'm gonna be using a white 260, a mocha brown 160, a mocha brown 260, and then for the eyes, I'm gonna be using a dark brown 160. We're gonna start with a white pot. So get your white 260 out and inflate it about halfway. Let a little air out and tie. Give the balloon a nice stretch. Now we wanna make four small flower petals. So make one small flower petal, about that size. Should be just about as wide as it is tall. Make three more just like that. So there we have our four flower petals. Now we're gonna to wanna to move the balloon to the side, like that, twist a small bubble right at the edge. Now we're gonna twist another small bubble, about one inch. And we're gonna pinch twist this by pulling it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. Now we're gonna to wanna to make another small bubble, a little under an inch. Then we're gonna make another one inch bubble. And we're gonna pull that over and we're gonna pinch twist that. So pull it, pinch it, and twist it. So this is the basis for our flower petal, for our uh, pot. You should have something that looks like this. Now put this down and get your brown 160. Inflate your brown 160 about two thirds of the way. Let a little air out and tie. Give the balloon a nice stretch. We're gonna start with his head. For his head, we wanna twist two sections, each about three inches. So these two here should be the same length. We're gonna twist this knot into this part here. And to keep it from coming undone, we're gonna slip that knot through the center. Now we wanna make another one of those. So we're gonna twist two more sections, about three inches each. This one here and this one here should be about the same length. Twist this into this. And to keep it from coming undone, go ahead and find that knot and push it through the center. Now we wanna take one of these and feed it through the middle of the other two. And you should have a cluster about like that with these four. Now we're gonna twist a small bubble, follow that up with a large pinch twist. Twist about a one inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it and twist it. Now we're gonna twist a small one inch bubble, follow that up with another one inch bubble. We're gonna fold over and pinch twist, pull it, pinch it, twist it. And you should have something that looks like this so far. Now we're gonna to wanna to take the rest of this balloon, give it a squeeze. You wanna wrap it around that first bubble right there. Tightly, but not too tightly. And we're gonna to wanna to twist a section where it meets that pinch twist right there and twist it in there. This gives us our head for our root. Now we wanna go down a little section for the neck, maybe about two inches. Now we wanna make two evenly sized pinch twists. What I do is I make two one inch bubbles about the same size and I twist this section into here. And then I give this balloon here a squeeze and then I feed it through the seam right here. And then that gives me two evenly sized squared off pinch twists. Now, we wanna make sure that we're just about at the end. We should have just a little bit of uninflated section you can see there, not much left to work with. So we wanna find the midpoint, about right there, and twist it there. So these two sections here should be about the same length. If they're not perfect, that's okay, but they should be pretty close. There we go, see those? Those are pretty close. Now we wanna twist this seam here into those white flower petals we made. So get your white balloon and twist them right here into those flower petals. Once you have that, you're gonna to wanna to take these two and you're gonna to wanna to spiral them together. And then you'll wanna take this part here and twist it into those pinch twists, leaving as little of a bubble as you can. That can take a little bit of practice, but I believe in you, you can do it. Now we wanna finish the rest of our flower pot. 
If you want to adjust it so that the four flower petals are on the bottom, the root's body is sticking up to the top, the pinch twist is here between two flower petals, and this part here can wrap around the bottom of group's body. You want to make a tight fit around his body and twist it into that pinch twist right here. Whatever you have left over, go ahead and pop it off, let it deflate, and then take that excess and tie it into the pinch twist and tuck it out of the way. Then you want to adjust your Groot so he's facing forward. And there we have our Groot in the flower pot. Now let's add his arms. For his arms, I keep it really simple. Take a Mocha Brown 260 and inflate it so it's just about a two inch bubble. Then tie it. Then what I do is I poodle tail half of that bubble to the other end of the balloon. So if you don't know how to poodle tail it, you're gonna to wanna to hold it here tightly so the air has nowhere to go. And then you're gonna to wanna to pinch right where you want the bubble to show up. So here is where I want it to show up. Then you're gonna to wanna to pull it tightly and then you're gonna to wanna to squeeze the air here down, not up, but down. Because I'm pulling this tightly, the air has nowhere to go but to the end of the balloon. See, and that's how you do it. Now you're gonna to wanna to hold these so the air can't escape. Because if I let the air out, it's gonna all go into one. So you can see this a little bit already. And I wanna even this out. So I'm gonna hold these, and I'm gonna squeeze one until they're about the same size. There we go. Then I'm gonna pinch it down here in the bottom. By pinching it at the bottom, the air has nowhere else to go. And I'm gonna pull out just enough slack to tie a knot. By tying a knot, those bubbles are not gonna go anywhere. And now I have a spot to work it into my group. So now that we have our hands, get your group body right here where this double pinch twist is, feed it in from behind where that knot is. And then what I like to do is I take the one arm, go over the front one way, take the other arm, go over the top and the front the other way. And this makes it so that the arms stick out and up. And we're done with our Groot's body. The only thing left are his eyes. And if you want to draw his eyes on, you could be done already. But I'm going to show you how to use a scrap of Dark Brown 160 to make his eyes. Get your scrap of Dark Brown 160 and you want to inflate it just a little bit. Just enough for two pinch twists. Go ahead and tie a knot. You're going to want to leave yourself a lot of slack, like I did here. Go ahead and twist two bubbles about the same size. Pull them over, twist them together. You're gonna use that slack and wrap it around through those two bubbles where the seam is, so it pinch twists them. The rest of this I don't need, so I'm gonna break it off a little bit higher. So I have these two bits of slack here coming off of the end of these eyes. Now get your group. I have to make room for his eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the one here in the front and I'm gonna pull it up and away, leaving a space here in the middle. That's where the eyes are gonna go. I'm gonna take the eyes, I'm gonna put them there, and I'm gonna use a slack to wrap around the head and into the pinch twist in the back. And just so it doesn't go lopsided, I'm gonna take the other slack, wrap it around the head going the other direction, and into that pinch twist in the back. Then I'm gonna adjust it, and now Groot has his eyes. If you wanted to make him wearable, get a 260, just put a puff of air in it, tie it, Take the two ends and wrap them in to the base of the flower pot. And now you have a bracelet so he can be worn. So there's my design for a small dancing baby group. Let me know what you think in the comments below. While you're down there, let me know what you want to learn next. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up. If you want more balloon animal lessons, subscribe to my channel. I do balloon animal lessons on Monday. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister, reminding you that anything, even a dancing baby group, can be made out of balloons.